Hey guys, this is Mokshed and in this video, I'll be adding a basic form page to a Drupal website using Form API. So first, let's see what Form API is. It's a simple and feature-rich API using which you can easily create a form page by creating a Drupal module. It allows to define the forms as structured arrays instead of straight HTML, which has many advantages such as providing a consistent HTML output. It uses the messenger service to print messages to the user. It allows for three main types of forms, a generic form by using extent form base, a configuration form that enables administrators to update the module settings by extending config form base, and a form for deleting content or configuration which provides a confirmation step by using extend confirm form base. The form API provides all the features expected from an enterprise to build a form combined with the flexibility and openness of Drupal. In this video, I'll be creating a basic form page which asks the user for their name, age, birth date, and gender. So now let's get started. This is my Drupal website which is on the local host and I'll be adding a basic form to it using the form API. So I'll be doing it by creating a module which will have the form. So now I'll go to the text editor. I'll be using VS Code for this video but you can use any text editor which you want. So I'll launch VS Code. I'll open the folder in which my Drupal file is located, which is in XAMPP, htdocs, and this is my Drupal folder. So, here in the modules, we'll create a new folder. So, this folder will be uh, our module. So, I'll be creating uh, I'll be naming this basic underscore form okay so now inside it we'll create two files one will be basic underscore form dot info dot yml uh, this will be our the information for file for our module and it will consist of the name description code and all and I'll create another new file called basic underscore form dot routing dot yml the thing which you have to make sure is that the name of our folder and the name of our info and uh, routing files are the same because if they are, they are not the same it will not work and then I'll create a new folder uh, called src or source and inside it, I'll create another new folder called form. Inside it, we'll create a new file called basic form.php. So, this will be our PHP file for the module. So, first in the info file, first I'll create the info file. In this, I'll add the name of my module, which is basic form I'll add the description uh, the description will be this is a basic form uh, this will be the information which will be shown uh, in the Drupal website then I'll add the core so the core is the version of Drupal which our module will support so I'll put it 8.x which is Drupal 8 okay then uh, I'll put the package uh, I'll put it form so uh, in the exchange page in our Drupal website it will be shown under the form this will be the modules package and the type will be module okay so our info file is ready I'll save it now I'll create the routing file. So in the routing file, first we'll write the name of our module, which is basic dot form. Okay. Uh, here we'll give space write path. So this will be the URL prefix or the path of our website. So for example, uh, there is a website example.com. So the model so the form will open at if i put it like a uh, basic hyphen form so it will load at example.com 
slash basic hyphen form okay so it's fine uh, then i'll give the default so the def uh, then in the defaults i'll first give the title so this will be the title which will be shown above the form i'll keep it basic user info form okay and then i'll do underscore form so the form will be this will be the location of our form file which is in Drupal a uh, basic underscore form form and then our php file which is basic form uh, then i'll enter the requirements requirements so the requirements i'll add the permission which will be access content okay so our routing and info file is ready and now we will code the rphp file so this will consist of our form so let's start uh, first since it is a php file we will give the syntax of php And now first we'll enter the namespace of our form. So here we'll create a namespace. Drupal basic underscore form and the form. So it is the location of this the form folder. Okay, and semicolon. Then we'll enter the use of this. So it will use Drupal core form and form base semicolon and it I'll copy this line and it will also use form state interface okay so now we'll uh, implement our form we'll build the form so first uh, we'll enter the class of our form so it will be class basic form exchange form this and curly brackets now first we'll uh, give the function to get the form id so for that the uh, function is public function get form id and now uh, i'll write it on basic underscore form so this will return a string containing the information of a form okay so now i'll build the form so for that the function will be public function build form okay so it has already filled it in and now here i'll uh, write the elements of my form so these will be the input fields which my form will contain and in this video and in this form i'll be uh, adding a the input of name age birth date and the gender so first i'll start with name it will be form then square brackets single colon and here we'll write the uh, id so it will be name equal square brackets and first we'll write the type so this will tell Drupal uh, the type of our module so the type of our so the type of the input so it will be text field since it is name uh, comma 
and similarly i'll also add the title so title will be the heading which will be shown above the input field it will be done as this t parenthesis single column and here we'll write the it will be title which will be enter your name comma and a comma after this now i'll copy this since the uh, it will be the same for other inputs as well now i'll do it for the birth date so it will be birth date uh, for birth date it will be in the format of date date month month year 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 so for that i'll show a calendar so the type will be date and this will be enter your birth date okay so now we'll do it for, uh, for the others i'll do age age and i'll change this to tell which is for number since it will be a numeric field and this will be enter your age now we'll have to do it for gender so for gender uh, the user will choose from the options which we give so i'll change it to form gender the type will be select so that the user can select <coughs> and the title will be uh, choose your gender and for the options i'll give it another one uh, like the title named option and here then i'll write uh, i'll write the parenthesis and inside it here i'll give the options so inside these single inverted commas single inverted commas there will be the value which will be displayed after the form is submit submitted and here uh, inside these parentheses there will be the value the text which is shown so the first one will be choose so it will have no value I will just copy it paste it okay. so I will change this and mail and this also to male female and other okay so now i'll give the also write a comma here now i'll give the uh, submit button so it will be similar to this just copy it uh, so this will change to submit the type will be submit and instead of the title it will be value so the value will be and here it will be in the text which will be shown on the button so i will change it to submit now our basic form is almost ready write return form okay and send one so this will return these and now here i'll write uh, the function to display the data and it will be done using the messenger service of drupal so i'll write public function submit form okay and here i'll write the code for the messenger service so it will be 
this messenger add status and this t and then inside parenthesis single noted and there will write the statement which will be shown so your name is add name so this is our id which will be given which will be giving here write a comma and now here i'll write what this id refers to so i'll write add name is equal to <coughs> form underscore state state this get value parenthesis and now here we'll write the id which we gave here so for name it was name and it is fine so now i'll just copy this line and paste it so this will after that it was both both and this will be both date both date and then age age each that will be gender gender and gender this will also change to birth data your age is your <coughs> gender is and save it and I'll see if there is any error here Okay, so here is another. <laughs> I by mistake I put comma here, but it was semicolon. It's fine. Semicolon. Semicolon. Save it. And also save it. Okay, so now I'll go back to my website. And I'll go to exchange. And since I directly placed my modules inside the module folder, it will straight up show up when I search for it. So here it is basic form. And I'll install it. Okay, so it shows that declaration of okay, so here is the error. Line 55. Okay, so it shows that the phone uh, state interface must be compatible with the above one. So I'll change, I'll add ampersand here. I'll just remove this. I don't think I need this. I'll save it. I'll go back. And I'll install it. It was in short. Now I'll go to the path prefix which I had to, which was basic iPhone form. So it shows page not found. Okay. But I should uninstall it and install it again. I'll uninstall the module. I'll install it again. Basic form install. I'll change it to basic iPhone form. And yes, as you can see, 
a form is here the gender the options are coming so on the right might be negative yeah it is not option it is options save it and i'll reload it yeah so it is now here write my name i am right now entering it using the keyboard but we can also do it using the calendar which you have here then enter it like this age and we can choose the gender and i'll submit it and as you can see uh, the statements which we had put using the messenger service are here your name is your birth date is your ages and your gender is so in this video i had built a basic user info form using drupal and thanks for watching